What is going on, everybody, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And today was another exciting day. Uh, there has been a lot of pops and then chop for the rest of the day. Uh, that's how we've been playing going through essentially August, uh, going into September. That's essentially what has been going on. Nonetheless, um, uh, tech has definitely been looking solid which is a good thing, especially because uh, there was concerns about uh, Powell. There's, again, so much media out there going against everything Powell says, and then Powell comes out and says the same thing he's been saying. Uh, again, there's more hype going into Jackson Hole, which starts tomorrow, but uh, Powell doesn't come on till Friday, I believe at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is ultimately when we're going to get the uh, final verdict on what is going on uh, with the taper talks. Again, I think... the market is still trying to understand that the tapering that he's talking about is a reduction of um, asset purchases and not actually any rate raises. Uh, and that's more um, apparent in the fact that um, they have gone virtual. Jackson Hole has gone virtual. They are concerned about the Delta variant and they know that uh, its impact and what it can have in the economy. Uh, and they are they are, they are even taking precautions, so they are still uh, aware, very aware of the fact that uh, of what it could do in the markets. But being said, uh, that is essentially where we stand. Um, yeah, we have a lot of data coming out, but I think right now the market uh, sees all that as irrelevant. What matters is what uh, Powell will say on Friday, and then from that point, uh, we'll start seeing uh, some movement again. Um, September has typically been uh, a bad month as well, too, especially going into Labor Day. Uh, so next week might be quite interesting. But uh, if Powell does stick to his guns and nothing changes, I think we can have a massive run Friday afternoon, um, possibly even Monday, um, maybe even next week. Um, but we want to take it day by day. We don't want to go too fast ahead of ourselves. We want to see what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow, uh, Jackson Hole starts. Uh, we're going to wake up with a gap down, and we're just going to trade flat all day. I think we're going to trade flat with a couple pops in the morning like we've been trading. I think things are going to hold steady because as long as Powell doesn't change his mind, I think it's just going to give, uh, give us the trigger to let tech fly. And tech has been kind of stuck and pinned right now. It's broken the uptrend. Uh, but it's now just uh, pinned against resistance. Um, so I think, again, just waiting on the word there. Uh, I did see some selling in Apple today, and in Microsoft there was some selling. Um, let's see, where is Microsoft? There was a little bit of selling in Microsoft, uh, still holding well. Uh, Amazon uh, attempted to push up today, then came back down. Uh, Amazon, I really wanted to get back over this uh, 33. 329 mark uh, before really considering this thing. Uh, it's had some nice push ups, but then it every time it opens up, it just uh, comes back down. Uh, so right now it's actually pinned here. Uh, I want it out of this range in particular uh, before start really playing Amazon. Uh, shop, uh, fantastic bounce today. I actually missed this today because I, <laughs> I'm trying to stick in that trading window in the morning. Uh, and wasn't wanted really watching this. I did see it come down here, and I thought I missed an entry, and then it actually snuck back down. Didn't quite hit my alert, uh, but came pretty close to the middle of Bollinger Band and close enough to take a position, uh, which I did miss, but it did pump towards the end of the day. Um, but it is uh, that uh, 1552 has definitely been a hard resistance, um, so I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't actually gap over this. Um, we, this may play tight range, again, going into Powell. And that might be what it's waiting for. Uh, Tesla playing range, uh, pretty junky again. Tesla again playing range. So again, until we actually hear anything, I don't think Tesla is going to make any kind of big move out of here. Again, that uh, 729 mark has been a tough ceiling uh, to break through. Uh, Facebook did very well. It's actually been uh, pushing and then kind of trading sideways the past couple of days. So some kind of as a pattern, I want to watch tomorrow. Let's see if we trade flat overnight and then get a nice push. Uh, maybe aim for that uh, 372 tomorrow. Uh, so something I want to watch. Uh, Google. Google has been slowly, slowly pushing up. I think uh, if we get word, uh, again, have one of the best earnings 
out of all the, the big uh, large caps. Uh, but I think if we get good word, we could see a possible massive move out of Google. Uh, BYND is one that I really liked. I actually took a position in shares in this today on the pullback today. Um, let me zoom out here. The reason I did because I liked this, what looks like a wedge break here is what I'm looking at. So this is the retest. I want to see if this actually pushes up tomorrow. I'll possibly get a good move. Uh, normally a wedge break, we get uh, credit at least recurring three, four. So this wedge, so uh, looking for at least a 145 mark possibly, the 150 uh, would be nice to get. Um, but we'll see where we go from here. Uh, BYND also had news today that they uh, had another partnership with a, a Canadian uh, coffee house, I believe, and they're selling some breakfast sandwiches there as well. So, so BYND still uh, promoting, which I do like. Uh, their PR team again and does some really great things. Uh, so we'll see where uh, BYND is tomorrow. Uh, Roblox has still been extremely strong. Uh, kind of upset. I did miss this. <laughs> Uh, earnings, I didn't buy it. I did see it in the zone. It's essentially that um, 73 mark, between the 73 mark, about 73.50 is a good mark. And then from that point, it just, it's just been running since then. Market hasn't been doing so hot. So when market isn't doing well or, or really uncertain where it's going, uh, Roblox definitely um, pushes during those times. Let me see here. Uh, Planter had some bad news today about FBI. I guess uh, the login or something. There was a glitch in the login, so we some bad news uh, dropped it down. And then they came out and said that it, the glitch didn't exist, and so that their their software was secure. And so, uh, as you can see, after hours, it's been pushing up very nicely. Um, Snow had earnings today. Uh, something to watch tomorrow. It had a nice little pump to see if this uh, continues to break um, tomorrow. Will be interesting, right? Because right now you want to stay with momentum, uh, especially going into um, Jackson Hole tomorrow. You want to at least try to capture some kind of movement. So stick with the continuation. Uh, Moderna had a nice little pop today. It's actually been playing this range, this base here, this uh, 390 uh, zone here has actually been very good. Um, as long as it stays in there. I know there was some bad news that came out about the vaccines too. Uh, so we've got a little bit of sell off here. Uh, NVAX, uh, same kind of thing. It's been playing this little range here. Um, kind of consolidating and popping, consolidating, popping. I actually be setting up for a bigger uh, pop here pretty soon. Something to keep in mind. MU had a nice one. They had a partnership today as well. Um, I had a nice little pop here. Uh, something to watch the continuation because it's finally out of that range. It was it seemed like forever stuck in this range um, for a week or so, and then uh, it's starting to push back up. Hit resistance, came back down, uh, but is that support right now? So as long as it holds this 7361, uh, see if it, put, it does try to push back up to this uh, 77 mark, and hopefully break through that and go back to all time highs. Uh, AMD, same thing. Uh, sideways is slowly trying to creep up. Uh, NVIDIA uh, has had some nice moves. Uh, keep on watch. The chips have been doing good uh, pretty much in general. So just something to keep on watch. Let me give you your thoughts and ideas. I did play AMC today. Um, I did capture a scalp out of this, uh, capture the pre-market low. I wrote it to the high today. Uh, but ultimately, it's starting to turn back over. So I don't know if this is just a quick pump and dump. It seems like it's that way. Uh, I actually sold my uh, clove leaps as well today um, because it's, everything was starting to turn over. So if this doesn't recover tomorrow, it's just going to drop back and possibly go back in a range. Uh, so something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, CRM also had earnings today. Something to watch tomorrow. Uh, if this sticks, uh, mark your, your pre-market highs and lows, and then go from that point. If we actually find it up in here tomorrow, uh, I'd look for a 270 break or candle, a one-hour candle to open above that to take a position and then ride that out. Uh, normally, that's what I do for any kind of break. I don't like to see a wick through. I like to see uh, a candle break above and a retest and hold. 
and from that point is when I like to take uh, positions, not when we get this this wick up, and then it looks like it's broke, but then it wicks back down because uh, that seems to be happening a lot lately. Uh, especially trying to keep range. Uh, TCAT is one I'm looking at uh, with the MEM stocks and everything. This one's been running pretty good. Um, again, this is a ETF. I wouldn't highly suggest this for anybody, um, but it uh, could be a possibility. Um, but I, I, I highly suggest not to go in. It is only uh, shares. Uh, so it's something you definitely have to be careful so you don't get stuck. Um, Let's see what else is there. I was looking at Sam, but Sam's been breaking all kinds of supports. Every time it looks like it wants to hold, it just continues to break down, which is something I'm not fond of. I want a couple day run up before I actually consider getting it back into this because uh, I've played a couple of these different base. I actually captured this move uh, and then uh, tagged out, and then it just continued to drop off again. So it's done this basing pop and then drop couple different times so let me see yeah I think that's pretty much it for tomorrow again just uh, try to play with strength play try those things with the volume uh, I won't play anything else unless you're just investing uh, and then remember to manage risk uh, a lot of things are popping and moving fast and wicking staying within range so just remind yourself of that every time you come to resistance or support uh, you need to be selling your positions if you are intraday trading or, or you swing overnight and these things pop to a resistance uh, sell before sell in strength right and um, this helps alleviate a lot of the heartache when your options if you're trading options how they, they lose premium because uh, they're pulling back so fast um, so to prevent that you need to be mindful of your resistance and support areas um, play accordingly. But with that being said, um, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.